How's it going guys? Jacob Ball, MLF Pro here. Today we're going to talk about the uh, new, this is the Komodo Chatterbait Trailer uh, by Gambler. Um, this thing just came out recently. This is a super cool trailer. I, I love a Chatterbait. Chatterbait's one of my go-to baits. Um, 12 months out of the year. I live here on Gunnersville and uh, we've got a lot of grass. It's, it's not a, you know, it's a well-known thing. Um, everybody knows that there's grass on this lake and a Chatterbait excels in the grass. Um, I've thrown a Chatterbait really all over the country though. I grew up in Oregon. Caught a lot of big fish out there on it. Also caught a lot of big fish over here on it. I just wanted to talk to you guys sort of about the Chatterbait, but more specifically this trailer. And um, this is, like I said, a new trailer by Gambler. What's super cool about this trailer is that it mimics the action of the uh, blade of the Chatterbait. So not only are you getting um, a perfect profile behind your Chatterbait, but you're also getting a very, very nice lifelike action that's going to mimic the blade action. So a lot of trailers out there, if you put a boot tail on here, if you put, you know, something else that's going to try to do its own action, it actually fights the action of this blade. So the blade's going to have its own rhythm and that, that trailer behind there kind of fights that action. And you'll notice that it, it doesn't allow the trailer to work properly. This one is very straight. You don't have any like real appendages coming off of it. So what this does is it actually mimics exactly what the blade does. So if you speed up, this tail speeds up. If you slow down, this tail slows down. The cool part about it is you can really fish this at any speed. I mean, if I wanted to get it down on the bottom and just barely turn my reel handle and feel that blade just vibrating, this trailer is actually gonna be back there swimming even at a slow pace. Same deal, if I wanna speed up and start burning this thing over the tops of grass or over the tops of brush, that trailer is gonna go crazy and stay right there behind that, uh, that chatterbait mimicking that action. The reason that it does that is there's actually a slight bulge to this tail. Um, it comes down to a narrow point and then it bulges out and then it narrows back down, allowing that water to go around that bulge, which creates a, a slow kind of almost thumping action, similar to like a pulse tail on a, you know, a Huddleston or a Savage Gear bait, um, where you've got that bulge tail, um, it's going to do that similar type of action. Um, the other thing that's great about this chatterbait, perfectly designed hook slot on the top, which allows you to easily rig it with your hook. This is a, uh, a Strike King Thunder Cricket. It's got that nice long shank hook, fits perfectly in that slot. Um, obviously another really, really popular option is your, your jackhammer. This is a color that everybody knows. I mean, if you've been on social media or, or watched any tournaments, you know Jordan Lee did really, really well with this bait um, this year, early in the spring. Uh, this is a Firecraw uh, jackhammer. Same deal, that hook's gonna fit perfectly in that little slot. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys this color right here. This is uh, this is red hot. This this bait is also it's called the Komodo. I have no idea why it's called the Komodo, but I think it's really cool. <laughs> um, but anyway, that color matches up perfectly with that that uh, Firecraw. There's not very many options out there to put on this Firecraw, so I think that's super cool that there's a, a color that matches up perfectly with that Chatterbait. Um, there's also five other color options, anywhere from black and blue to uh, you know, Ghost Shad, White Lightning, a bunch of different good options that'll match up with your favorite chatterbaits. But uh, guys, gotta go check this out, um, give it a look, and uh, try it on the back of your favorite chatterbait.